Welcome back everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. This time around I'm going to be playing Dominion on the map Vortex. This is a fantastic new game type, but if you've never played it before, uh, it can be a little confusing if you don't know what to do. So I'm going to give you some uh, background on this game type so you know exactly what to do and how to win more games, how to jump right in from day one and just absolutely start blasting your opponents away which is what we did here because we knew how to play, we knew what to do, and we absolutely dominated the game. So, uh, we're going to run right in here. This is going to be on a large map. First uh, team to 400 points is going to win the game. There's three bases throughout the map, okay? Base A, B, and C, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. And so I'm going to head straight for base A. Some of my teammates are going to go to the other bases. And within each base there's a little terminal and if you you hold down the terminal for about five seconds you'll see I do it right here you hold it down for about five seconds and it initiates a capture procedure right and so it, that capture procedure takes 15 seconds so uh, you see that the red team uh, initiated a capture at this terminal so I gotta go back and undo that while well, my teammate does it fortunately so now we have to wait 15 seconds for the base to capture uh, meanwhile, I'm just trying to hold all these red players off. Don't want to let them in here. We got to let that timer count down. Don't want to give them access to the terminal. That's very important. Once we've captured the base, if you wait another 30 seconds, the base will fortify automatically. And what that means is there's going to be like big shield barriers up on some of the entrances, so it'll be very difficult for your opponents to come in through those entrances. Now, let me point out here we've got all three bases under our control. So that has initiated a last stand, which is a kill survivors mode. And every opposing player has this little tag above his head. And I, the, the idea now that you've got uh, all the bases uh, under wraps is to go out and just exterminate the other team, right? And I've never really played in this mode that frequently because it's not very easy to, to hold down all bases at the same time. We're really just crushing these guys. But at any rate, if you do hold down all three bases, you can go out there and just absolutely exterminate the other team. Now, there's some other advantages to holding down the base. The longer you hold down each base, it's going to resupply every 45 seconds, okay? And when it does that, it's uh, scoring you points. Basically, to resupply means to give you points. Additionally, you'll see these vehicles av available for your use outside of the bases which you occupy. So I went out and grabbed the Wraith. It's kind of like there's a hologram of the vehicle in the base. And uh, that hologram can be activated, activated by the team who occupies the base. Okay. So since we occupied the base, I could go out there and grab that Wraith. It becomes a real Wraith instead of a hologram. Now, if a red player had come up, he'd see that hologram, but he won't be able to activate it. Okay. So it's very uh, critical that you control as many bases as possible because two things are going to happen. If you control the bases, you're going to get more points. Secondly, you're going to get more vehicles, okay? So those are two very critical roles. And you can see that throughout the game, my team has totally dominated so far. So the score is 180 to zero because every 45 seconds, those bases resupply and we get 30 points every time. Now, uh, the red team has managed to capture the C base. So that's something that we need to keep track of. And if they hold it long enough, they're going to get uh, a turret. So I, you'll see here in a second, I'm going to use the Wraith to take down their turret because that's going to def, uh, you know, kind of defend the base. It's going to make it more difficult for my teammates to go in there and retake it. So I took that turret down just like that. So you can see we just continue to resupply at bases A and bases B. We're doing very well. Scores 210 to 30. We've got a lot of vehicles, as you can see. And we're really creating a lot of problems for the red team. There's Alpha resupplied. That's another... 30 points. Every 45 seconds, that's 30 more points. We just keep racking it up. Unfortunately, I get hijacked from behind and he blows me to bits, so I'm going to have to restart. But I think that's the only time I die this entire game, so really managed to do quite well for myself here. Um, so I'm actually going to respawn back here by base C, and by this time my team has recaptured this base, so there's not much I could do. I could hold the base down and allow it to fortify, make sure it's not recaptured. But I want to come over here to A and B because that's what looks like where most of the action is. Uh, B is right in the center of the map, and so it's going to be very hotly contested, right? Uh, any any area in the center is going to be contested. You see here, I reinitiate the capture, 
Again, we wait 15 seconds for the capture to occur, another 30 seconds for that fortifying, and so on and so forth. Then we'll continue to rack in the points as it resupplies every 45 seconds. And so you'll see, I'm going to spend a lot of time right here, because this is a kind of a choke point, so to speak, right? Uh, this is the best way to get through the map, and I don't want to let the red team, you know, be walking all over us. So I'm going to do my very best to hold down this choke point and keep him out of the base, because the longer we hold it down, the more fortifications we're going to have and the more supplies we're going to have, which means, again, boost in score, right? And so you'll see I've just got my DMRs and my battle rifles, and I'm just really falling back when I need to, letting my shields recharge. Once they're up, we can just uh, poke my head out and keep taking these guys down one by one. And, you know, the one thing you want to make sure when you're playing on Dominion is that you have to have at least one base at all times, right? That is absolutely critical because if you don't have at least one base under your control, things are going to go downhill very quickly. You're obviously not scoring any points. You're going to have no vehicles to work with. And... Um, you're going to have that little icon up over your head that's going to alert everybody to where you are, and that's going to be very, very problematic as well. So at bare minimum, you need to make sure you're holding down at least one base. And uh, sometimes, you know, even when you have that base, it's it's okay to just stay in there and make sure it's not recaptured. So that's basically what you see me doing. The first part of the game, I ran out to base A. I initiated it. I held it down as long as possible. Uh, then later on in the second half of this game, I come in and hold down base B while uh, my teammates are out uh, doing the rest of the business, keeping the other bases safe and sound. So you see here we creamed it, 420 to 90. Hope you guys picked up a couple tips and understand the game a little bit better. Go out there and play it for yourself. Uh, you know, you follow my advice and you're going to win a lot more games and have a lot of fun. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Halo Reach Tutor signing out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.